The Middle East and North Africa is the driest region of the world, with only 1% of the planet's freshwater resources. Population growth, climate change, increasing industrial production and seawater intrusion into aquifers are rapidly increasing the pressure on water resources. Using treated wastewater to grow food crops can help towards mitigating water scarcity and reduce water pollution, but this practice is not sufficiently implemented. In June 2016, a group of scientists and industrialists gathered at the University of Bologna in Italy as part of the MAD for Water Consortium, a four-year project financed by the European Commission, the long-term aim of which is to reduce water vulnerability in Egypt, Morocco and Tunisia. Dr Dario Friscari from the University of Bologna is a project coordinator. Med for Water is an important project because uh, the water crisis is one of the most important challenges that uh, North African countries are going to face in the next decades. And without appropriate solutions, this is going to have a strong impact on food production and food security. The main goals of Med for Water are to improve uh, the analysis of water vulnerability in Egypt, Morocco and Tunisia, to develop technologies for wastewater treatment and irrigation and to adapt them to the local context of these target countries. The project will also develop strategies for the sustainable management of water in Egypt, Morocco and Tunisia. It also aims to increase the level of capacity building in the field of water management and to promote market opportunities for European and North African companies working in the field of wastewater treatment and irrigation. In med for water we are developing two uh, types of uh, technologies. So one is wastewater treatment technologies in order to obtain irrigation quality water and uh, the other types of technologies are more related with the use of the treated wastewater for irrigation. And the main aspect of the med for water project is to adapt simple technologies to the local conditions of the Mediterranean African countries and in particular of three basins located in Tunisia, Morocco and, uh, and Egypt. Rauda Gafredj is one of the project representatives from Tunisia, a country where Mad for Water will play a pivotal role. Quand un pays vide sous stress hydrique, chaque goutte d'eau compte. C'est-à-dire, quelle que soit la qualité de l'eau et quelle que soit la quantité d'eau qu'on peut économiser, c'est toujours bien pour le pays. La situation elle est encore plus dramatique parce que nous avons de l'eau seulement dans le nord, très peu au centre et pas d'eau du tout dans le sud. For Mohamed Aloud Maini, who comes from southern Morocco, the water crisis is more intensely personal. I have been uh, around for about 60 years now and I have gone through um, different stages of uh, water availability and water shortage. The trend is going towards less and less rain and so less and less water available. When I was a kid, well, I used to go back to my village, swim in the river. But now when I go there, I can hardly find uh, enough water to drink at times and uh, uh, many people that I know from the villages have actually moved out. The Mad for Water project has a particularly importance at EU level and also at international level because it actually supports and contributes to uh, um, the international agreed water-related goals and also to some um, key water uh, communications and directives uh, like the Water Framework Directive. So it clearly contributes uh, to these, the targets to reach in terms of water supply and sanitation in, in this sense. A key challenge to be overcome is to convince local populations in the regions where the project will take place that treated wastewater is safe to use on crops. There is a strong psychological opposition about uh, using wastewater. The psychological problem is when you discuss with the farmers but also uh, civil servants, the Ministry of Health, Ministry of Agriculture, Ministry of Water Resources, they tend to be very reluctant 
because of the lack of understanding of risk management. And they tend to, to say that water should be perfect quality. But the plants don't need drinking water. They need water that is suitable for the plant without the bad guys, the pollution that might affect either the vegetable that you grow, but also the farm that is growing, and the end users that is buying the vegetable. It is very important to work with local people. And in terms of water management, local people are everybody, which means farmers, water users associations, governments, institutions working or dealing with the governance of, of water. Sustainability is very important because these local people, after the end of the project, they need to have a valid method, a valid technology that they know how to implement, how to use to solve a real problem. The projects will allow us to develop uh, new technologies, innovative approaches for the treatment of uh, different kinds of wastewater. This will develop competence in a Tunisian country, but also we will try to install pilot plants with capacity building, uh, with training uh, people about the uh, possibility to reuse the treated wastewater in irrigation. One of the great advantages of these European projects is really to see new collaborations emerging with uh, different partners, with different countries. A new collaboration that can actually uh, last for long term. And this collaboration for me is, is what a European project is about. And I think that within the Mad for Water Consortium, I can feel a really great uh, energy and good commitment of all the partners to actually achieving this together, uh, hand in hand.